Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to look at something I discovered. It's not exactly new because iClone already had it in Character Creator, but they've really improved it a lot with this whole Smarter Search feature. And uh, and I just discovered it now because I needed to change my character Eva's clothes. So I started searching through the marketplaces. I even considered switching her over to MetaHuman since I also have clothing libraries and stuff there. But what was the issue? I mean, when you look at things in the marketplace, you can't really picture them on your character. You don't know if what you're seeing in a photo will actually look good on your character. That's when I discovered this approach, which I thought was really great because what it lets you do is visualize all the content from the Reolution marketplace right inside the program, either in iClone or in Character Creator. You can search by keywords or by a photo, enter roughly what you're looking for, and it'll show you everything related to that which is much faster because you can see it right away and within the program itself and that's the big advantage I think we have more than a hundred thousand assets available as trial versions meaning we can download them test them before buying and visualize them on the character with all the options we have right you can even move the animation so it's not just clothing or character assets but also animation assets everything available in the marketplace can be quickly previewed tested directly on the character and if we're convinced after seeing everything, only then do we make the purchase. So I thought this was a, a great advantage and I don't know if everyone knows about it. I just found out myself and I think it's awesome. So I wanted to share it with you to show how it works. All right. So let's see how to easily find assets with this option I discovered, which totally changed my life. You just go to this section. You can set it to whatever language you want. I think it supports several languages. I want to try it in Spanish. Military clothing, women, and um, we see that everything available in the marketplace automatically appears, which you can obviously browse through much faster here instead of like I used to do going into the marketplace, starting to search and setting the filters there. I mean, this is honestly amazing. I didn't know about it and I just discovered it now. Also, uh, it has the option to see only trial items, meaning everything that's just for trying out. So that's another advantage because we'll be able to try it directly on the character, which is much better than just looking at a photo in the marketplace and not really knowing how it looks on our character. Here, we'll be able to put it on directly and immediately see if we actually like how it looks or not, which is something that used to happen to me when I bought something. But then when I saw it on my character, I wasn't totally convinced. So if we only want to see the trial items because we've decided we want to try them on the character first we need to have this option enabled here and uh, well here we can uh, change these parameters i suppose these are the most important ones um so anyway let's take a look here we can see that obviously all of this appears now as i mentioned it's on the marketplace and not only can we try it on if you want to see it in more detail, we can right click and view it directly on the page. And here we can obviously see it in greater detail and check what else the manufacturer shows us. But as I was saying, here we see it in a photo. The advantage is that we'll be able to try it on directly before buying it. Well, I'm not going to try this one directly because I want to show you other options we have, which also involve using a photo. We can show a photo of something we want and it will show us what is most similar in the marketplace. For example, well here I have different options. It could even be a photo we generate ourselves with AI. So we can narrow down our search to exactly what we're looking for. And let's see, for example, I don't know, this one, which is this type of more futuristic armor. And we see that it shows us it shows us what it has, like this, for example. This one is really good. Well, it, it shows us everything related to that which is available in the marketplace. In this case, I set it to show complete packs. We can also filter just for what we want, like clothing or hair, if we want to narrow down the search even more. Well, in this case, I'm going to choose this one, which is kind of futuristic. So to try it out, what we have to do is double click here and it will download the trial version for us. All right. Once it's downloaded, we'll find it here in the content section. 
I'm gonna go to the pack section and then to the trial section. And here is precisely what we have successfully downloaded. So let's proceed to click right here and well, now absolutely everything relevant shows up clearly allowing us to thoroughly try it out. Let's carefully select the primary character over here and then diligently apply the specific part of the comprehensive pack that we initially wanted to meticulously test in this particular case. Well, I am personally going to try out absolutely everything available. So, and quite obviously we can effortlessly do precisely the same with the various different things or elements we might want to diligently look for or investigate further. For example here, if it were here, it will show us the different options. Let's say we want to try this hairstyle. We'll download it and look for it here in the content section. We'll carefully type item into this field here. Then we'll proceed to type test and it should then clearly show up right here. Well, maybe this hairstyle isn't the one that looks best. But anyway, you see here it gives us an idea that sometimes we see something one way, but then when we see it here, it looks different, right? And once we've downloaded it, we find it again here in this section. In the scene section, everything we have as a test version will appear in this color. Another option we have is with text as well. For example, let's type sportswear um, and we see that everything related to that item appears. But we also have the option to exclude what we might not want, right? So let's say we choose, let's search uh, within um, sportswear, for example, shirts and pants, but we can tell it to exclude everything that's red and white, for example. That way the garments in those colors won't show up, right? So it's also a pretty good option to narrow down what we want to find. Here I'm searching by pack, but we can also search by item, meaning only that will show up. In the other case, the sportswear appears as part of a pack that includes several other things, right? I'm going to the try on section from here and here it shows up so I can apply it well. I'll apply it there. All right, so now I've applied this other option. And what I also wanted to see is whether it finds things related to this product, right? For that, we have the search option that says find similar. Let's see what comes up. Of course, it shows us the same type of clothing. This is really good, right? It shows us other options within the same category. That way we don't have to search through the entire marketplace, right? And we can go straight to looking for this kind of thing. Well, and it's the same for everything related to animations. I mean, everything that's in the marketplace. For example, let's look for an animation. Uh, let's remove this from here and type in fight. Let's choose for example this particular one and now we will carefully search for it right here in the item section. I'll type the first few letters of the name here so I can find it quickly since I had several and here you can see it downloaded this trial version for me. So now I'll select the character and apply it. Alright, here I change the lighting so it looks a bit better and uh, once I apply that animation, obviously I can also test it here just like with any other product, right? I want to see how that animation looks or if I want to try another one, I can also use all the characters options for the animation here and I go here to this option to edit the movements and well here I want to change something. Even though this is the trial version, it will let me do everything the same, right? I mean, I have access to everything. It's just that, well, here with the watermark until I buy one of the two licenses, I'll be able to try everything from the marketplace. 
but just by visualizing it not seeing it in a photo imagining how it would look so i found it quite practical because it's a much more visual way to see all the marketplace content right in the workspace not having to leave here and look at it on the marketplace website but seeing everything right here inside the program inside iclone or character creator and trying it out directly with the character before deciding to buy it that's why it sometimes happened to me that i bought things that later turned out not to be exactly what i wanted especially on the unreal marketplace you know there you basically have to buy first and then see what you get but here we have the option to download the trial version test it out exactly as if we already owned it and see it with the character so when i discovered this it really opened up a much better way for me to work all right so now let's move on to the part where we see how to buy this assuming i've already decided that i want to purchase it right uh let's go here to the version of let's exit this section here let's go to the trial version where i downloaded what i needed and let's see for example if i want to buy this clothing accessory i can do it directly from here as well or go to the website if i want to go to the website i need to go to this section here if i go to the website i can continue the purchase from here i can check what discounts are available you know the usual stuff but i can also make the purchase from here meaning i can go to this section and i can select this option here all right and here we see the two types of licenses available for purchasing the product purchases here are made using points and here for example we can top up the number of points we need to have in our account to make a purchase or it will simply prompt us to top up when we go to make the purchase right in this case i need 2500 points which i don't have so i'll obviously need to top up or add them when i go to make the purchase if i go in here i'm going to exit here to go directly into this section it takes me to the page where it explains for example that with $10 i get 1000 points with 55000 and with 110000 i can buy points from here or as i mentioned before when we go to make a purchase from here and we go to buy this license well it will tell us to first buy the points so that we have enough to complete the purchase what are the two differences in this license cuz this one is much cheaper right here we see that this product costs 2500 points and here it costs 750 this is something that uh prelusion has brought back it used to have it at one point then they removed it and now they've brought it back because it's quite important i mean it's a substantial discount here you pay 30% of what this cost so what's the difference if i buy this license i'll be able to export this asset with this product everything to any program for example i use it in unreal so i have to export an fbx and in that case i do need this license because it will allow me to export it anywhere this other license allows me to well obviously remove the watermark as well but also to render right here inside iclone which is something i might want to do iclone has this render option here and sometimes you want to render an animation right inside the program it could be that in a particular scene we currently have uh, various licenses and diverse content along with other trial licenses however if we then decide to proceed with an export operation the system will automatically inform us and clearly indicate that we absolutely need to acquire the standard full featured license in order to complete the process successfully or we can also see it from here where we can view the unpurchased items and a list will appear showing what we have in this scene that we would need to update here we see the hair and everything there is all the items from the clothing pack and it will automatically take us to the marketplace page well uh, as i mentioned i discovered this because i had to change the look of the character in my series eva and it happens to me every time i need to buy an asset uh, whether it's in the realution marketplace or the epic marketplace you start looking through that photo gallery and sometimes you like a particular product but before you pull out your card and put it in the shopping cart you want to be sure that what you're about to buy will actually look good on your character whether it's clothing or any other asset like accessories or whatever so that's when i discovered that uh, of course on the realution marketplace you can download the trial version try it directly on your character and then make your choice so i downloaded the the three options i had seen before buying I checked which one looked best on the character and that way I could get an idea of which one I liked more. 
I was even able to put up a small poll on Instagram and ask which one people thought looked better and things like that. So I recommend it to you if you have this software or if you're thinking about getting it. This is another great advantage of working with Reolution software. You'll be able to interact with the marketplace in a much more direct way. See you in the next video.